Hopefully exciting edition of Poke Packs with Royce and Mike. Hello. Yay, Mike is here with me. Um, I have some pretty exciting news to tell you because I have information about the next uh, year of Pokemon, basically through next year, uh, through 2021, as well as some packs that you probably haven't seen in a while that I happened to purchase uh, from the shop down the hall. Uh, dude is nice enough to allow me to purchase them. They are mine. <laughs> Anything I pull, I can do whatever I want with, exactly. but... Um, tear them, could sell them to the store. If I so desired, I could. I could look at them. Uh, and they're for me. Thank you. Uh, I've also got some cool products to show off that we'll probably be battling with, so stay tuned. Mm -hmm. um, all right, so let's get down to it because, um, like I said, I have the official list of products releasing through 2021 uh, via Poke Beach. Uh, they haven't updated for seven days, so I assume this is good. I assume <sighs> this is good. I get most of my info from them. Um, they, they seem to be, like, the best... You know, source. A reputable Pokemon They're news as source. reputable as you can get because a lot sure. of their information is free except for like their actual articles, okay. which you have to pay extra for and like I'm not doing that. Also, before you get into that real quick, what's up Ben J and what's up Mongo? Hi, I guys. hope you guys have had your uh, your sugary treats before the stream. Woohoo! Uh, <laughs> Mongo was saying he had an ad for Snickers before the start of this. <laughs> so, you know. Are you hungry? Get a Snickers. Exactly, yeah. Did you, uh, did, uh, did Yeter send you a bunch of burb photos? Yes, Yeter, sent me Yeter a... on, on Discord too, so pastimes.net slash social, we've got the yep. Discord link. Um, Yeter always up in there sending uh, burb JPEGs. We, we threw uh, always, memes at each other yesterday. Yeah, exactly. Great. I'm like, that's, that's what we do there. It's, just, <laughs> it's on, sometimes talking about Pokemon, but mostly it's talking about birds and what bird. the bird, best bird Pokemon the, the bird, is. The bird, the bird, the bird is the word. Um, all right, so um, there's that, and then there's there's something else that I wanted to say that I've forgotten. Whatever, it's it's it'll come to me. Yeah, later trousers. On. Unfortunately, we're not sponsored by them, but uh, maybe not one day. Not if only. Uh, 
Also, my hat isn't related to anything Pokemon. I'm just wearing this because my hair was a mess this morning. Cthulhu could be. He's kind of like a Pokemon. He's got, he's got like the old he's gods are just like leaves. legendary Pokemon. I mean, look at some of the Yeah, Mongo, I'm also on uh, Yeeter's uh, secondary bird server. Secondary bird server. We have a. Did you actually make a bird server? Uh, I, I didn't heed it. I, <laughs> I just happened to, uh, to have. Oh, mem yeah, the member bird. Membership in. <laughs> Exclusive so, membership yeah, exactly, in the Burb, so. the Burb uh, server. All right, so here's the thing about uh, about the new releases. The fourth set, which is Vivid Voltage, will release in November as planned, which meant that the fifth set was scheduled to release in February. Um, however, I'm assuming it's because of COVID, uh, there will be a different release in February known as the, excuse me, the four and a half set, four point fifth set. <laughs> Which it, well, it's a supplemental set. Sure, because sure. In, the, in the same way that like uh, Hidden Fates and uh, Hidden Fates uh, is the eleven and the fifth, or yeah. eleven and a half, and then and then Champions Path was third and a half, I think. Four, third and a half, third and a half supplemental set, um, because otherwise the supplemental set would be called five and a half, but it's not. So the fourth set again is Vivid Voltage, Sword and Shield, Vivid Voltage, and the fifth set would have been released in February. Um, will be released sometime between March and May, but there's no clear date yet, or date mm -hmm. set. The sixth, may, sixth set may release sometime earlier in the summer, but there's no guarantee about that either, because supposedly sometime later in the year, the release schedule's gonna be fine. Um, this is this is all the info they've given me. Um, it's all on Poke Beach, it's from seven days ago, so you may mm -hmm. have to go for that out. Um, I want to apologize, because in the last video I lied, there are no other GX boxes scheduled to be released this year. Okay. Um, we will not be getting the, the Baby GX box or the new Jirachi box. We don't know how that's going to be released, uh, and nor are we getting any, any of the full arts, which is super sad. Because um, I really wanted this full art trailer. Yeah, I was going to say, they look, they look good, yeah. That blues tactics, man. Um, we'll be getting the big Zashin Zamazenta box. Okay. Um, that will be releasing November 20th. MSRP is now $100. Do not quote me on that. That might change. Um, the the official name is uh, the Sword and Shield Ultra Premium Collection Zashian and Zamazenta. Okay. Because they had to come up yeah. with a really long name. It's also a, like a big box. Like It's like this big. It's huge. Um, I'm pretty small on that, and this is about it's, it's my half, size. Half a rice. All right. So uh, according to Poke Beach, for which I do not have a paid account, again, uh, this is on one of their free articles. Nothing is set in stone, but this is what they got listed. So February, we're supposed to be getting the Sword and Shield four and a half Elite Trainer box, the four and a half Pin Collection, the four and a half V box, the Spring V tins, regular V tins, uh, the February V Battle Deck, and the V Battle Deck bundle. Okay. Right. Uh, March is supposed to be the V Battle Style box, the March Collector's Chest, which I assume is the. Um, what's it called, the launch box, uh, and the VMAX battle box. Uh, sometime between March and May, we should get the, uh, the Sword and Shield 5th booster, the 1-pack blister, the kiosk blister display, the 3-pack blister, which we do not get, um, the check lane blister, the mini binder with booster, which I'm surprised they don't, those don't sell as well as they should because they're cool. Yeah. It's a little mini binder. Yeah, you know, you, you get a pack it's like with five it. bucks, so like, you get a, a pack and then like a, a, for a dollar you get like the, you what's get a this, cool like binder 32, 64, right, that like holds like 40, binder, 40, the, like, the single, the single row cards. binder, yeah. Uh, also, we're supposed to be getting the Sword and Shield 5th Elite Trainer Box. By summer, by summer, we're supposed to be getting the Q1 Pokeball tin, which I assume has different Pokeballs this time. Okay. Um, the mini tins, which we have a couple from Darkness of Blaze, which we cracked last mm -hmm. last episode. The VMAX Premium box, which isn't doesn't have a name on it yet. Uh, the League Battle deck, which should be pretty sweet. Uh, the May V Battle deck, the May V box, the Trainer's Toolkit, another one, and the Summer V tins. That should be... It's a lot of Pokemon. Should, that should be interesting. That should be a lot of fun. Um, oh! That's what I was going to say, is the rest of this episode should be trivia! Yay, trivia! Somebody asked me last time, and I'm like, you want trivia? I will give you trivia. Watch me. Yeah, um, I was going to say, Mongo, um, uh, to, to that point, um, and later this year, though, there's, is there supposed to be a reprint of Champion's Path? Yes, there's and, supposed to be a reprint yeah, of Champion's Path, as well as Hidden Fates. Yeah, because Mongo says, I just want them to mass reprint Champion's Path as just a big F you to scalpers, which, yeah, I mean, I haven't, I haven't checked... Uh, you, uh, not YouTube, uh, eBay in, in a minute, um, because I mean, you know, like 90 is kind of like where it, where it ended up being, and that's you know, 
reasonable, you know, when you get like a $40, $50 promo card on, on top of an already like $40, $50 box. That card um, is now going for $20 to $25, by the way, oh, that, okay. that promo Charizard. I've been checking the prices. Yeah, yeah. So the highest is like $50, and I'm like, that's dumb because so everybody else is playing for like $13. might be already kind of going down then if that's the case, but um, either way. The... Um, we will, we are expecting to get that yeah, product. Yeah. I cannot prove that might, we will. Yeah, we, it might also we, be allocated or or you know other know. shenanigans, but the there is supposed to we, be later on. The fact that we got as many tins as we did for Hidden Fates, holy cow! Yeah, Apparently, yeah. no one else got those because we were the only one who's ones who asked, which was amazing. We mm -hmm. sold out of those in like two yeah. weeks. It was gone. It was great. Somebody bought like five cases of that nonsense, dude. That was crazy. Yeah. That was just, you want a case yeah. here. Sometimes Have you need it. sometimes you need a lot of tins. Yep. All right, so um, before we get on to trivia um, and questions about trivia, because that means if you guys get the right answer, you get a code card. Yay! Um, I'm going to show off the packs that I bought at the other store. Um, Let's take so, a look. Right. I've been told this isn't the best set. This isn't, like, amazing. It's Fates yeah, Collide. It's I don't, more just for fun. It's funsies. I don't care. It was relatively cheap. Mm -hmm. You know, whatever. Um, it's got a mega Alakazam or... Yeah, Alexam V, what's his name? Mega, this guy, yeah, Mega yeah, that, that face though. That looks cool. uh, as well as Steam Siege, because why not? Uh, I just got these for fun, and yeah. the, these are the oldest ones that he had. Um, and then I've also got two packs of Breakpoint, which is funny because I, I looked up the prices of these packs after I bought them, mm -hmm. and they should not have been as cheap as they were. So I'm debating whether or not to crack these, sure. or I should, I should just like crack one of them. You can make um, them, yeah. Take it, take so it. you guys, uh, commenters, get to choose. Um, but I'm just going to start cracking stuff. Uh, nice. And then I, b before I do that, I actually want to show off. That means we'll have some old code cards. Yeah, that's, hey, sweet, cool stuff. Uh, these are still good for Expanded. Just saying. Expanded is still good from, from Black and White. I want to show off these guys. These ones? Yeah. yeah. I'll, I'll put the center in here for you. Yay! All right. So I know I showed this off last time, but these are the, the Pokemon deck boosters that we made in store. Um, so basically what it is, you get 20 cards, uh, <coughs> excuse me, 6 to 7 Pokemon, 6 to 7 trainers, and 7 energies. Um, the three dollars a pack. Basically, what you do is you mash two or more together to make a deck. Cool stuff. So I've got like, it's it's basically the equivalent to the magic uh, jumpstart packs. Yeah. So we got water and fighting. So yep. you'd make a two pack deck like that. You'd crack them open. And dark. There you go. Like why not? And you make a you make a sixty card deck with that. Mm -hmm. um, I tried to go through. <laughs> I tried to get all the good trainers, um, which might be harder than it it seems. But yeah, you can definitely mash these together. The three bucks a pack, and we might be cracking these just to play. Um, and I, we got a bunch, and I, I will probably be making more. Mm -hmm. Generally, we don't buy bulk, but a lot of people have been turning in there. Yeah, and it's, it's something to do with it, too. I mean, in the same way, um, I'll slide yeah, the, this in yeah. here so you can see, too, is we've got uh, similar to that, just kind of like house-made uh, mm -hmm. Japanese Pokemon packs because, you know, like I said, we just recently got a lot of Japanese Pokemon cards. So it's instead of just like leaving them in a bulk box, you know, it's like, well, you're getting a good deal for relatively cheap, and you're getting a bunch of Japanese cards, and, you know... Can't, can't go wrong with that. The last one I sold had like a Lieutenant Surge's Raichu in it in mm -hmm. Japanese, and I was just like, that's like a $5 card on its own. Heck yeah. And you get another like bunch of cards on top of that. I've also just got some random singles in here that wouldn't mm -hmm. fit. Yeah. Um, but like, uh, Sabrina's Mr. Mime. Uh, is that Sabrina? Sabrina's Jinx. Yeah, Sabrina's Jinx. Old school Jinx, by the way, mm -hmm. before before uh, bad things. Um, yeah, that's that's this new stuff that we got that I'm just trying to be like, hey, we got cool Spe folks. Speaking stuff, of but... bad things, happy Columbus Day, Harris. Right? Oh. Uh, what's up, Eater? Oh, uh, any Hi, code Eater. cards? Uh, yes, we got. Well, you you know I come <laughs> with code cards in hand. Um, and then also, uh, Eater, you might have joined a little late. Um, we've got uh, Royce is showing off uh, some Face Clyde and Steam Siege. So as we crack those bad boys open, we'll be having some some older uh, code card packs for that too. And trivia, and trivia, and trivia code too, cards. Eater. Code card. Oh, hey, first pack of crack got an Alakazam EX. That's, there it is. Oh, yeah. Royce, That's shut it terrible. down. You got Dude. my boy. And I will, seriously, I will probably be using this. Hey, that's a good trainer. I will be using this to make another another deck. Last is special. Last is special. Draw, Draw a card on. for each your opponent's bench Pokemon. Bench basic Pokemon. There you go. That's not bad at all, actually. All right, and so, like I said, we'll be doing trivia. So in that case, uh, first question. Why is this upside down? Well, that was upside down. This this is not upside down. Is, I don't know what the heck's going on. Whatever. Uh, the first question for trivia. Um, everybody knows the first Pokemon ever created was Rhydon. Uh, what was the second? That's my my big you know. There you go. Now we got a foil last special. Ciao. Hey. <laughs> That's a lot of lasses. A lot of lasses. I love it. Eater says a different Pokemon. 
I mean, you're not wrong, but what what which, exactly which, which Pokemon? Yeah, exactly, yeah. Also, I'm just hoping it's for funsies, just to see what I get. Because you know, ball not? Pokemon. Now you're gonna have to be specific. All right. Eh. Code card. Code card, and I've got. Oh, Tyranitar isn't terrible. That's cool. Oh, Pokemon Fan Club's good. It's a hollow rare. Hollow. That's cool. You'll notice on the bottom of these that it's the bottom right is the um, the set symbol as well as the rarity symbol. Mm. Um, on the new ones on the left, I God knows why they did that. Um, Got to spice things up after so spicy. long. Spicy. All right. If yeah, I'm gonna go this... upside down to packaging errors. Welcome to. Right. Welcome to life. Yep. Also, I have to crack these off of the camera too. Eater, Eater says he's got a, he's he's there with his bird. Eater, I also have my bird, so don't the even worry about here. Uh, Mongo says um meowth, and Eater says Bulbasaur. Nope, none of the above. Keep guessing, guys. Fossil excavation kit is garbage. Oh, because it's, it's okay. So spirit links are literally just hey, you get to evolve your Pokemon and not end your turn. Like that's kind of yeah. the whole point. That's actually not bad. Like catcher. Uh, Yeeter says Mew. Nope. Trouser says Voltorb. Nope. Yeeter then again says Ghastly. Nope. Yeeter, are you just saying the names of the cards that we that we're pulling? <laughs> that one's eventually, pushing. yeah. Oh, and I've got I've got two of the breakpoint packs that I might open. Mm -hmm. I don't know might, yet. I'm still debating. Into one. Uh, any yeah. any hints? Uh, no, actually, because I'd give it away. Fair enough. It's a um, a Kabuto. Yeah. Um, power memory, what is that? The Zygarde EX card, this is a tip, no. Neither says Kabuto? Nope. Stop, just guessing. Uh, yeah, try, yeah, Trouser says let's just do the Poker app, we'll get there eventually. Snorlax? Nope. You guys are way off, actually. It's really funny. It's, it's also a Gen 8 one, or excuse me, a Gen 1. Gen 1 Pokemon, I can talk. Ah, uh, Gen 8 one. Um. It has a baby. There's a, there's a... There's a little clue for you. That's a cool Lugia. That's a really cool Lugia, actually. Uh, Kangaskhan says Eater. Kangaskhan. Also, uh, uh, I got a question here in the chat um, from a Neunheim. Uh, mm -hmm. Are these packs you could get uh, Blue Eyes White Dragons from? <laughs> I think so. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. Uh, these, these are first we'll editions see. we've got here, Paul. Uh, so, you know, <laughs> just keep an eye out for that. Yep. Uh, I I'm mean, this, green. this one's Japanese, so it's like basically halfway to being uh, a Blue Eyes White Dragon, so. Was that the Doduo? Uh, yeah. no, this is the... The Drio? Bird. Oh, yeah, you're right, you're right. Also, bird alert. Bird alert, bird! Mark it down. For those of you playing bird bingo at home. I got a snubble and a snubble in this pack. Man, this is... A Rotom is cool. Aerodactyl and random receiver. Reveal cards from Chabby Duck until you reveal a supporter card. That's not bad. Yoink. I will probably be making decks out of the, these, just because I can. All right, so that was the first question, was Kangaskhan... Um, which were the first Pokemon revealed for Gen 8? Oh, hello. Gen 8? Gen 8. Are we on 8 now? We're, is, we are nine? on Gen 8. Okay. We are on, I got something in this pack. We are on Generation 8, guys. Uh, which, were the, which were the first Pokemon revealed for Generation 8? What's up, Schmetti? Hello. Hello! <laughs> uh, Regirock. Uh, Yeeter says Rowlet? Uh, no. For, that's Gen 7. Kit. Shuckle! <laughs> yes, yeah, Yeter says, oh wait, that's a seven. Yeah, it's all good. I'm just randomly picking packs, guys. I'm gonna probably so, swap over to DMC in a minute. It's okay, Yeter. I don't know any Pokemon either, so. You're just here for the code cards, y'all. <laughs> Which I don't blame you. We give away code cards, guys. Alright, so this is kind of a weird question. <laughs> Charizard G-Max, says Yeter. Lamau. I mean, if you, if you say enough Yeter, you'll probably get it too, just like I mean, gone. Hang on, what I got? Berserker. Ooh, Ooh! That's pretty. It's a fluffy boy. <laughs> I was not expecting that. That's what he uh, is, man. That's, that's every, like the, the weird, like, can you, can you, yeah, no, cotton, you, like, ball have you, one. Have you seen a wet Altaria? Ugh. Yeah, it's, guys, Google wet Altaria. It's not like it's bad, it's just like, what? I'd rather, I'd rather not. <laughs> it's I not can, bad if, I can help it. if you can help it, right, Ladrid? I'm gonna have to, like, put um, safe search on here, Royce. Alright, so, no, it's actually not bad. It's just a, it's just a weird, uh, weird uh, photo. Uh, Thank so you. Thank technically, you for technically, the first Pokemon revealed for Gen 8, technically, were Grookey, Scorbunny, and Sobble. 
But the technicality here yes. is that Meltan and Melmetal were the first. Because they were between Gen 7 and Gen 8, and they were released on Pokemon Go. Dang. All right, so next question. Nobody got that one. So I got the code card. Uh, that works. Yes. I don't care. So when was Mew copyrighted? When was Mew copyrighted? That's a super... This art is adorable. Look at this. That's awesome. Mothim, Wigglytuff, Dugong, and... Oh, I got an N. Sweet. That's actually a really good card. N is a really good card. Um, I'm going to oh, switch over to, to... Pokemon Go. Steam Siege. Let's see what I get. I actually think I have more Steam Siege. Holy cow. Rando. Toby. Alright, so when was Mew copyrighted, guys? Uh, back in the year 1775, and then 2002, says Mongo. Oh, Jesus. Wait, yeah, Mew was, Mew was before that, right? Yep. Game came out in 1999, 98? The game came out in 94. Oh, yeah, the, the video uh, game, I'm yeah. sorry, the game came out 96, my fault. Okay. Technically 96. So probably not 2000 a year. Nope. I got something else. Mew was out before back, then. Back, oh, well, I guess copyrighted, yeah, like it could have been out. Yeah, then. when yeah. was Mew copyrighted? What did I get? What did I get? What did I get? Yo, Volcanion. That's a dude. Pull just EXs, guys, just for funsies. This is a cool, this is just a super sweet card. <laughs> yeah, Mongo says, okay, but Pokemon's lazy, so like. You know how lazy this is? 2010 no. manga. You see how lazy this is? This is poorly cut. This is just a Pokemon thing. Like, it's just poorly. I got a Lucario. $10. No, it's not. It's actually, I have a Lucario somewhere in the binder that's like 25 bucks, and it's. No, I'm sorry, it's $12, and it's, uh. It's legitimately miscut. Like, it's got a line in the very top that's. 97? Nope. There's only so many years, guys. <laughs> Come on, guys. Gotta hit it somewhere. somewhere. Also, I forgot, uh. Yeter got Kangaskhan, so I'll put oh, yeah. that aside for him. Card? 98 says Mongo. Nope. 96 says Yeter. Nope. You guys are off. You guys are off by a long shot. When was Mew copyrighted, guys? What year? 94. Two friends? Nope. Talent friends. I remember when this card was good. 93. No. Missed Yeter. 92. Nope. You're just going to keep going. <laughs> 2003. Stop. This is annoying, huh? All right. All right. 1984. Good year. 1982. Are we too far back, Rice? You guys are too... You guys are... Here. I don't even Mike's know. Mike's guessing. Is it 1995? Did we... No. They missed that year. Okay. Yeah, no. It's oh, not my. that year either. Can we count up, boys? <laughs> All right. You want me to give it away? You want me to keep, keep guessing? Say, keep going? 2015, says Eater. You guys are whole, just completely missing. By, you guys are just being silly. Bergmite. Look at that. C dot nose pass, Litleo, Braviary, and Avalug. 2008. Guys. They never did, says Mongo. Hell yeah. They never did. Trick question. Right. It's public, uh, public domain. I could I could draw JPEGs of me without without with impunity. So it was a full six years before the release of Red and Green. 1990. Ooh. Release. It was copyrighted in 1990. My birthday. There you go. Mongo says, I know a lot of numbers, Royce. Don't underestimate me. <laughs> How many numbers do you know? Exactly. It's a number. You know, you know at least ten. Uh, fun fact, actually, that it was actually not blue in Japan. Red and Green came out first. They made a sequel to Red and Green, unofficially. They named that one blue, and then the... That's cool. The, uh... Yo! Uh, they updated the graphics, which turned into blue, and they fixed bugs on it, too. Uh, Red and Blue in the West then became a port of the Japanese blue. That's cool. Um, which is why the remake is called Leaf Green because it's sort of a peace offering between, sure, between red and and blue because they didn't want it to be like two opposing colors. Uh, another question that was that was according to Junichi Masuda. Uh, what is Junichi Masuda's favorite Pokemon? He's also the composer uh, for Pokemon. What's and, his favorite Pokemon? And what is Junji Ito's favorite Pokemon? Probably a Pokemon that has a spiral in it. I mean, uh, Eater, well, Eater says Pikachu. Nope. Ooh, a Shiftry. I think it's nine nines, Mongo. Uh, Eevee, Mew. Nope. Snorlax. <laughs> Snorlax again? We're going over this lane. We're, we're just doing this again, guys. Come on. Come on. 
and it's and it's of the original 151. It is not actually. Oh, okay. um, his his older his old one of his old favorites was one of the original 151. Um, I'm actually not sure what. Arceus. Nope. It is a legendary. Ooh. I will give you that. It is a legendary. I'm just gonna get it. Promo passes such a dumb Pokemon. Raikou. Nope. Entei. Nope. I would just if you say Suicune, I swear. <laughs> so I was gonna say we're missing it. Uh, Mongo says, "What do you expect from us? We're only so educated." <laughs> That's why you're here, Mongo. Just this is random stuff, you is, guys. This is Pokemon 201, the advanced course. You've already passed. Get it the together, first guys. Yeah, I was gonna exactly, say yeah. you, the, the first course is fine. You now did, we're gonna you speak did so Pokemon. well last semester, Mongo. What's what's happening? Lugia right. says, "Ho oh." Nope. Nope. Shaman. Final answer from from Sinister. Nope. Dialga. Nope. Ha hacker. 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 Uh, it's funny actually because Tangelo was one of his favorites. Um. <laughs> Didgeridoo from Neunheim. It's Victini, guys. Where? Which one's that? Go look up Victini. He's cute. He's the victory Pokemon. That's actually what he's called. He's the victory Pokemon. Right. Uh, well, in that case, uh, it's funny because his favorite Pokemon type is actually water, which Victini okay. is not. Um, but what is, uh, what's the favorite Pokemon of Satoshi Tajiri? You brought it up, Mike. You, you, you unwillingly gave away the answer. So it's one of the ones that I've yelled out in the past five minutes. Everybody... It, is, it is not, actually, oh. but it's, it's in reference to something that you said. Oh, no. This is Spirals. funny. So what is the favorite Pokemon of Satoshi Tajiri, the president of Game Freak, and one of the founders of the Pokemon franchise? It has to do with Spirals. Oh. Yeah, that's what, that's what I thought was funny. Bombs on. I, Hello. I think of one, but I could, I'll save till the end. Shauna! That's a good card. Alexam says Mongo Spirals. Oh my god. Spirals, my boy. Spiral. That has nothing to do with spirals. I, I assume also fossils, maybe. I'm just. Ah! Good. <laughs> Whoops! My bad. Yeah, lose a yeah, my bad. Hell yeah, you dear. That's one of my favorite genres Can't of Pokemon. Flashing cards? Pukemon. Pukemon. Yep. I was like, what are you talking about? What's what's Pukemon. Miyamoto's favorite Pukemon? Uh, Polyrath? Says Mongo? Close, it's Poliwhirl. Okay, yeah. Close. Polytoad. He, he, he danced around, he said Polytoad too. There you go, Poliwag. Yep. Alright, Mongo, you're getting one in your, your pile. In the Mongo pile. Uh, here's a fun fact about Mew. Uh, it's apparently can learn the move Attract, except it's because it's meant specifically for gen Pokemon, it doesn't actually work. I thought that was interesting. In the video game, I mean. Uh, okay. What were Pokeballs originally based off of? Drowsy. Um, what were Pokeballs originally based off of? Yo, that's a cool card. That's the Fuller Alakazam. Okay, you know, I, can so give, I can give. Uh, Look at that. That's so pretty. I'll give the one that says Yeet. <laughs> it says Yeet. Yeet. <laughs> uh, Capsule says Yeeter. Nope. I, I assume I, mean, like, a I garbage. assume like uh uh. What the hell is that it. called? UFO stuff, jars. Jars? Mason jars, Mongo? No. Children. Ugh. What were Pokeballs originally based off of? Come on, guys. Nuts, balls, toys, nuts. Come on, Just guys. Just throwing out nouns, Eater. One of them will be eventually. All right. I'll give it away if nobody gets it. I got a break! That's a car bank, never mind. Breaks aren't really worth much. Gotcha pond. I'll put them aside. Whatever. Gotcha pond? No. Yeah. Gotcha Pokemon. Gotcha Pokemon. Gotta catch them all. The spoon is too big. Who's spoon? Oh, that is a that is a hold up, Rice. Yeah. I, I was I was looking away. I was. Cause you're like, where were you looking, dude? Cause that is a that is a big spoon. Yeah, that's like. My spoon. Half, too big. Half an alakazam right there. That's right? My spoon is too big. <laughs> Again. No one remembers that except for me. Oh my god. My spoon is too big. Hamster balls. I am the queen of France. Please tell me you remember that. Um, yeah, yeah. Okay, good. Okay, just like, please tell me you remember that. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, uh, so they're based off of Campbell's Tough. soup cans. I, oh, They're the based off the of Campbell's light. soup cans, guys. The All Andy right. Warhol. I who made up who made this up? Who do I complain to, Rice? You complain to Pokemon. 
can I, I'd like to speak to the CEO of Pokemon, <laughs> please. Yeah, All right, so here's a, a random thing. So why does Ash get Pikachu as a starter instead I of... I don't think the chat likes the, uh, the Campbell's Soup stuff. Campbell's Soup cans. I'm with them on that one. What? That, but that's actually a thing. But why does Ash get a Pikachu at the beginning of the series rather than one of the actual starters? Because he's a uh, nepotism, right? That's why. Because he knows. What? Disney Wonder Balls? Wait. What? <laughs> Neunheim, what? Neunheim says I made the reference, right? Oh, his spoon is too big. Oh, so I guess he was saying it in reference to that. Oh, never mind. And then of you get the code card anyway, it's fine. Well, no, that was, that was, uh... Well, that's, that's just, that's just, that's just okay, this Paul. Paul doesn't play Pokemon. Alright, never mind. Paul, we don't have any, we don't have any Yu-Gi-Oh! online codes, so... Wait, is that our Paul? That's our Paul. <sighs> Paul with two L's? Uh-huh. <laughs> Hi, Paul. <laughs> oh, speaking of, uh, I'll talk to you later about it, but no biggie. Um... Yeah, Mongo, I'm definitely with you. Uh, he says, I shall fist fight 20 old men in Japan, <laughs> Japan's Nintendo studio over this. Yeah, like, that's, that's lame. Like, just, we saw a... Game Freak, you have to go beat up Game Freak, basically. Yeah, they're, they're, they're freaks already. Right. Or Creatures. Creatures is the other company. Mongo, I'm definitely with you on this one. I'll, I'll fly on over to, uh, uh, to California. I'll meet you up. I'll meet up with you there. And then we'll catch the next, next flight. Yep. What's up, Baby Yoda? Baby Yoda! Um, Alright, so the question was, uh, why does Ash get Pikachu at the beginning of the series rather than a different start, like oh, one of the actual Eater starters? Says, uh, Pikachu nice. was the last one. Alright, so again, it's a technicality. Uh, the answer is yes. <laughs> However, um, they didn't want players to get wrapped up in who is best or better than the others. In the story, uh, he was supposed to choose Squirtle originally, then overslept and got there late. Um, mm -hmm. And so. Yeah, they, they, they actually didn't want kids to be like, oh, I'm choosing Charmander, because that's what Ash does. Okay. They didn't want to be yeah. like... So they pick one that's not... They pick one that's, that's off not. The, off because the, the anime script. came out after the, sh the, the game did. Sure, sure. So. Um, Lame. Cowards. They don't want to put their foot down and say, so, that, and say that Squirtle is the best. Squirtle Squad for life. Exactly. Uh, so who is an unexpected fan of the Galarian Zigzagoon line? I know it sounds like crazy, but like, I, who's, I, who's an unexpected fan? Look at the Galarian Zigzagoon, and the, of that whole line, and like the Galarian Obstagoon, uh, look at, look at the, um, look at the way that they look, he's got his tongue sticking out. Neither says Metallica. No, but close. I was gonna say, yeah, I think I know where it is. Um, yeah. Shmeni says I think it's cool. Fungus and Amoongus, which is st stupid. Alright, Alucha, Ambathom. Bulbasaur, best boy. Yeah, I guess I guess Schmetti is the uh, the unexpected fan of uh, <laughs> Mike. No, that's not that's not right. I don't. It's not Honchkrow. Honchkrow is that's a very unexpected fan. Uh, Yeter says some metal band. I assume close, right? Is it yes. a lead singer of a? It is the lead singer a, of, a, of a, a very famous there metal go, band. Yep. yep. Sinister Treasure says Kiss, but I think we want somebody specific, right? Ooh, it is. It is actually. It is actually Kiss frontman Gene Simmons. So mm, if everybody so wants, that's, that's who it's modeled after. This is a really cool card. The Chaos Tower. It's upside down. Choose which way this card faces before you play it. This focusing down players. Pokemon can be asleep or paralyzed. Those Pokemon are already asleep or paralyzed. Do you remove those special conditions. Uh, this player's Pokemon can't be confused or poisoned. Oh, what I up, see. Bro. It's a Chaos Tower. That's cool. Loudred, which is just obnoxious. Um, one of the, the developers on uh, Detective Pikachu enjoyed doing Loudred because he was just like, this is the dumbest thing. <laughs> He's like, this is such a dumb Pokemon. That's what we're here for. Um, what's a Pokemon that was supposed to be go it was going to be used in Gold and Silver and instead got used in Sword and Shield? So, what's a Pokemon that was going to be used in Gold and Silver that instead got used in Sword and Shield? Wait, Paul, what band was Mew? Uh, Eater says Meltan. What's up? Meltan. Nope. Really? <laughs> it's a Chandler. Seriously? You're right, Mongo. Uh, Zigzagoon cool. came first. Uh, he says, why is that surprising? Kiss dresses up as Glare and Zigzagoon daily. Right, no, so that's the joke. Apparently, dude's a huge fan of the series, which is yes. pretty cool. Yeah, no, apparently he's a huge fan of the series, but um, okay. the fact that he's just like, he's okay with it. He's a fan of the series, and he's just like, hey, I'm not going to sue this, because uh, this totally isn't me. Yeter says, Carcoal. Nope. Uh, Paul says, Top Hat Weezing. That was in that was in the original, that was in Gen 1. That doesn't count. He's got a Top Hat, though. It does. 
Uh, but it was going to be using gold and silver, and so I got using sword and shield. Mm. Alright, nobody gets it. I'm really upset with y'all. Upset. Upset. Fletchinder. Alright, what else have I got? I'm just gonna crack packs. Yeah, so yeah we're just. I've got a bunch of packs. I've, I've got more trivia where this came from, y'all. Name you a Danish rock band. I'm not familiar with them, Neuenheim. I do know a handful of, like, Nordic metal bands and and uh, folk metal stuff, but I'm not familiar with Mew. Ooh, I'll speaking of Mew, now. that's actually worth something right is now. Is it Zashian and Zamazenta? Nope. It's a single Pokemon, guys. All right, here's a hint. It's an evolution. Come on, guys. <laughs> You're making me work for this. Come on. <laughs> Stump the boys. They didn't do their I did homework. Stump the boys. No, you didn't. You didn't do your homework. And I, I said there'd be trivia, yeah, and Mongo you guys. Says, Mongo says more Pekko? Nope. Which it's I'm, an evolution. Which I'm surprised uh, uh, Babby Yoda didn't say more Pekko. Choose one of your basic Pokemon to play. Surfetch is correct. Hell yeah, Mongo. That is the correct the answer. Pile grows, my man. All right, Alicia. All right. Mongo, right now we're at one, two, three, four, five trivia cards. <laughs> and then there we go, Babby right. Yoda asking, "Is there more Pekko yet?" Uh, I don't think more Pekko's in the set, right? More Pekko's not in these sets. More Pekko is Gen are, 8. These yeah. are Gen... 7, I assume? Yeah, we're like... 7? I think so. Nuenheim. I'm just having packs for funsies, guys. Nuenheim, there's, um, there's basic cards. He says, aren't they all evolutions? I mean, yeah, but basics don't count. We, we all evolve. Okay, okay, so technically Mankey. babies... I don't... Yeah, babies are. Pre-evolutions make no sense to me, because they're just like, Pikachu is a base... It's a basic Pokemon. I'm like, then what's Pichu? Pichu's also a basic Pokemon that evolves into P Pikachu, and I'm like, but that doesn't make any sense. Because if Pikachu's a basic Pokemon, how do you evolve a Pikachu? Anyway. I'm gonna open these. Yay! Oh, I'm gonna wonders. open these doll These packs are eight bucks a piece right now. I'm gonna crack them. I bought them for four dollars. Actually, I bought them for three forty a piece, so let's see. <gasps> yeah, Mon Mo yeah, Mongo, Eater's, Eater's been giving you uh, his code cards that he doesn't oh. want, so you're just kind of getting them all. I love Shinx. We're She's all part of, of Team Eater. Team Eater. Team Mongo. Team Mongo. Our code card choice. Yeah, right. Camera up is the rare. Okay. Durant. Pokemon Catcher and Heatmore. But oh, oh yeah. that Shinx. Look at that boy. I'm going to keep that one. That was cute. <laughs> That's right. He had right. Yeah, Sinister Trousers uh, giving his code cards uh, to, to Team Mongo. I'm cracking both these guys. Mm, I hope I get them there. This is the last two packs of the set. Ah! Killing me. Shoot, I got nothing. Simple Ducklet, Glamiao, Spritzy, Dregal, is the Hollow Rare, Trevenant is the Rare, Heatmore, Swana, and Cloyster. Man, those are terrible. At least I cracked them, I guess. Alright, one more pack and then I'm gonna show off the, the deck boosters. Yeah, and Neuenheim, I guess we play. These, these, Neuenheim, these are socialist uh, code cards. Uh, I'm going to give out to everybody uh, share. one letter. Share, share, share. Like, yeah, yep. exactly. Um, we all know what Pokemon Go is based on, right? I hope. I hope everybody knows what Pokemon Go is based on. Pokemon Go to the polls. <laughs> please vote, guys. If you're legal and you're in America, please vote. Please vote. I think half of the people here are not in America, and then half That's, of them are under Well, then, then tell the people that are in America. That's a cool word. Yo, Paul, you belt all. Paul, you heard voice. Paul, you live in Arizona. <laughs> Why did you move to Arizona? Doxing him. Um, yeah. uh, Eater says walking. What? That's what Pokemon Go is based off of. The ancient art of walking. Right. <laughs> of it's... ambulation. <laughs> it's based on it's based on an April Fool's Day joke from Google. Okay. One of the guys from Google started Niantic. Uh, started a game called Ingress. Um, mm-hmm. I mean, yeah, like it's it's straight, yeah, like that's where they got like their their data for from. Uh, but Neuenheim, the original the original was from 2014. Noenheim says Trevenant. I like Leo in that one. <laughs> Hell yeah, Mongo. Mongo says I shall vote yes on every prop as I am supportive. <laughs> yes is across the board. All right, that's that trivia. Uh, all right, so I've got like 11 and a half thing pages of trivia here. I am pro props. And also, Neuenheim says uh, they have mountains here, so... That's nice. I'm happy that we don't. We have a lake that likes to mess with the weather. Yeah, it's like the opposite um, of a mountain. <laughs> we have a depression. So does everybody else. Anyway, yeah. uh, should I crack the rest of the packs? It is great. Um, your call? <laughs> your, your packs, Royce. I know, I want to. People are here for, for 
chilling and chatting and code cards. All and the all me the having C's. allergies. Exactly. Oh, that's, that's on the list, yeah. Mm -hmm. What all a right. beater. Thanks, thanks for the view with one viewer. Okay, um... Eater, is, that, are you just, is the one viewer your bird? Is this what's going on here? The one viewer you, just you on made, separate computer. A, yeah, you made a Twitch account for your bird. Alright, what is the only Pokemon that devolves? No, it's, every, every bit counts, Eater. I was just Raznix. I was like, wait a minute, that's just your bird. What is the only Pokemon that devolves? It's my bird cage. Uh, what's the only Pokemon that what? That devolves. Devolves. That devolves. Also, uh, Sinister Trust says, I vote for another round of Royce v. Mike Mayhem. Oh, you would. I, I tend to agree. You're the one who's, who's okay. afraid to leave your house. Team Rocket's handy. Every, everyone is, Royce. Uh, Mike. They've, they've, got, they've got mountains and lakes out there, Royce. Why would I want to leave my house? Right. Uh, Mongo says, trick question. All Megas do. Okay, that's mm -hmm. a technicality that doesn't count. Mongo, I'm going to tear a code card in half and you get half yeah, of that. That doesn't count, dude. That doesn't count. Friendo. All right, listen here, you little. <laughs> <laughs> now listen here, Mike. Uh, Yeter says, my, bo my birds are both looking at Mike. I guess they're team Mike. Hell that's yeah, okay. thank you. Ooh, they, they, know, they know I'm a card-carrying member, Yeter. <laughs> yep. I don't like that these come in the packs like that don't even have like an Altaria in them. Like it's just Those a random so situation. Like, I, I don't right. know a damn thing about Pokemon when it comes to like <coughs> what a good card is. Like I, when th these are like a, like not even a quarter. Uh, your turn is not end if the Pokemon this card is attached to becomes a Mega. Literally, what that it means like when you evolve into a Mega, your turn ends. Yeah. This just says that it doesn't. Your turn doesn't yeah, end. That's so, it's only it's only for that specific Pokemon too. Like, it's, it's only like, for yeah, Altaria. Yeah. So it doesn't even come in the pack with Altaria. Maybe maybe we're wrong here. Tell me if I'm wrong, but yeah, the, I think the the market saying it's twenty five cents kind of shows it. Yep. Oh, good point, Raul. I've been sitting on this one for a second here. So good. All right. So nobody <clears throat> nobody gave me the Pokemon that devolves. The only Pokemon that devolves is Slowbro. For good reason. He's Wait, slow. How? What? Devolves into. Slowpoke. Wait. See, I'm the alternative. I don't. Wait. Wait. Or, so, explain, please. Teacher. Question. <laughs> That, How? that that Slowbro evolves devolves into Slowpoke. But he's he's Slowpoke Slowpoke first, right? And then he becomes Slowbro. Right, and so you can devolve from Slowbro into Slowpoke. You can? Yeah. Is that in the game or yeah. how? I don't know, he just does. I don't know. That's just the thing that I thought that was interesting. Oh, <laughs> oh what's going on? Uh what's the difference between a male Pikachu and a female Pikachu? Okay. What's what's going on? Uh All right, thank you for the heads up. Yeah, I was look, I was like looking at the, uh, the wave, microphone like heads. wave thing, and like one of them was just like constantly going off. So my apologies. I don't know what I don't know what the deal was. Are we good? I basically yeah we're we're live again or on mic again, and I basically like reset the uh, the volume thingy. Uh, yeah, sorry, sorry to everybody who lost hearing temporarily sorry. for that. Yeah, that wasn't that wasn't you. That was us. That's on our end. I was like, what? Exactly. Yeah, code cards for yeah, yeah. as as part of our uh, part of to our pay for your hospital. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> hospital. All right, so. All right, so the question was, what's the difference between a male Pikachu and a female Pikachu? And uh, uh, red and yellow cheeks was not the right answer, Mongo. It was incorrect. Marowak, really. Uh, the tail? Correct. That is the correct answer. I was going to say, I, I vaguely recall the, the tail, one is flat and one is heart-shaped. Oh, I got something on this back. Man, Mongo, you're going to be like walking out of here with like 10 code cards, my dude. Did you get it right? Well, no, I mean it's it's Yeter got it right, but everybody's just like shoveling their nice. their uh, their laundering code cards through Mongo. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so Pokemon is the second best selling franchise of all time. Debbie what Yoda is the says, first? Debbie Yoda says the gender. That's what they're Frenchy. I mean, you're not wrong. 
Uh, but Pokemon is the second best-selling franchise of all time. What is the best? The best-selling franchise of all time. Got something else in the stack. That's exactly it, Mongo. I mean, it, it basically counts as, like, um, in the same way there's, like, get-out-of-jail-free cards. It's get-surgery-free cards. He says, hey, Doc, I don't have $3,000 for ears, but uh, here's an X and Y Fates Collide code card. Yep. Go with Shauna. Cool. Uh, nobody's gonna answer that correctly. I'm okay. sorry, what was the question? The question no. was, uh, Pokemon is the second best-selling franchise of all time. What is the best? It's the best-selling franchise of all time. Franchise? Mm-hmm. Yeah, of Nintendo's, or...? No, just at all. Okay. What is the best? Need or Zelda? Nope. Close, though. Let's see. Mario. That is correct. Eater? <laughs> That's my boy. There's nothing in that pack. What the heck? Oh, these are Infernape. My bad. Sure. Yeah. Chairman Mao Mongo with all these socialist ill-gotten games. <laughs> Chairman Mao Mongo. All right. Um, Chairman Mao That was incorrect. That was an incorrect thing. Um, all right. What day? What day is Pokemon Day? Oops. What day is Pokemon Day? We had it recently, didn't we? No. No, we did not. Okay. We may have. I, was gonna say, uh, I thought we were streaming during it, right? Am I crazy? I don't think so. Either since February 21st. Incorrect! You're close. I was gonna say, I vaguely recall being in February, so. It's not the 21st, though. I'm gonna finish these four packs and toss out the garbage, and I will open the rest of Steam Siege. And then Mike and I will go ahead and hit again. I, I doubt that's the, uh, the answer there, Mongo. Uh, 25th. Nope. Close. Star Wars. Wait, knowing how many are you talking about that? <laughs> Still on the last question. Oh my goodness. Best selling franchise. And he's not wrong. Yeah, exactly. May 4th, February 27th. February 27th is correct. Ooh, Baby Yoda with the code card. That's a garbage card. All right, last three packs out of here. Oops. That's what uh -oh. I got. Now they're all dead. Yep. They're all crappy. Ugh. All just bad packs. I'm keeping that Shanks though. That Shanks is adorable. Like, I can't. Yeah. Alright. Last three packs from Fates Collide. That is kind of a worthless box, but I'm opening it for funsies. Because why not, right? Mm hmm. That's what we're doing here on the show. Gotta crack something while we're asking what we're... our favorites Alright, what's monsters. another. Alright, what type deals the most damage? Damage type. Mike. I'm just saying that before somebody else says. Uh, dragon is... says eater. Nope. That's nice. Oh, strong energy. Heck yeah, that's a good card. Does strong type deal the most damage? Does not. You'd be surprised. Fairy says eater. Nope. We're just gonna say all the types now. Mm -hmm. There's only so many. Guys. Fighting thunder. No, 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 no. I think we're close, fellas. Guys. Just one more right one. Dark. It starts with an F, guys. It starts with an F. <laughs> the one that has Charizard. It is fire. Yep. It is fire type. Yep. Close enough eater with, with fart type. Um, yeah, then he said fire. Yep. Mongo, you're getting one more. Fire type. All right. What are the trees the professors from the main games are named after? What are the trees the professors from the main games are named after? Neuenheim, this is what it's like when fates collide. All right, stream's over, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm... Oh, another one. Nice. Yes. <laughs> Yeter, which which right. types of trees? Yeter just says trees. Um, oak, birch. Those are the only that I remember he says. <laughs> so you get, like, you get, like, four letters there, the Yeter. Yeah. All right, it's it's uh it's oak, elm, birch, rowan, juniper, sycamore, kukui, and magnolia. Kukui, kukui. Um, what else have I got? Uh, hang on, this is just random. All right, if Pokemon is the most marketed Pokemon, if Pika, sorry, if Pikachu is the most marketed Pokemon in the franchise, who is the second? The second most marketed Pokemon, marketed, marketed Pokemon no, 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 in the franchise. Mongo says the trees in Minecraft. Oh, wow. Mew? 
No. I feel terrible. There's a band named after Evie? Nope. Really? Okay, that's what I would have guessed. Nope. My legitimate guess would have been nope. Evie. Nope, nope, nope. E V. Evie. Evie. It's literally the Japanese name, it's just Evie. It's Baby Yoda. I don't think it's more Pekko, but. Alright, we're gonna, in, we're gonna in, battle, Mike, because I feel world. like it. Uh, Charizard. Charizard is correct. Beep, 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 beep. Yay! Alright, so uh, I should get some good stuff. Mongo, you now have uh, 10 code cards Holy waiting cow. for you, so. We're gonna have to cut you off at some point, dude, because you're just making all the money. I'll tell you when I I'm actually enough. really happy with these three. These are super cool. Alright, we're gonna crack some of these packs here. And the Shinx. The Shinx is adorable. I love the Shinx. Yay for Shinx. Alright. Bring it. What do we got? Uh, let me We're just making a mess. It's fine. Alright, so I'm gonna show these off. These are, um... These are what I'm calling deck boosters. They're basically off of Magic the Gathering's, um... Uh. Nice. Uh, Magic's, uh, jumpstart packs. It's basically a 20 card pack based on an, a, a, um, a type. Uh, so hopefully this, this should be interesting. So I'm gonna pick, I don't know, uh, Electric. These are $3 a piece, guys. So for 20 cards for three bucks, it's not bad. I get two Electric. Here, yeah, you're just gonna, sorry, there's, there's stuff going on. There's stuff going on. And is there a fire? And a fire. Mike? I'm sorry. Pick three? Uh, pick three? All right. Mm -hmm. uh, what'd you choose? I wasn't listening. I picked two electric and a fire. Okay. I'm going to dark. Dark, dark, mm -hmm. and dark. Dark green. Dark grass and electric. All right. Do we want to show each other the cards? Um. Or do you want to? So I think we should because we're so on So we just straight up like... mash these, right? Because this yep. is 20, 20, 20? Yep. All so right. you get 60 card decks. Let's do it. How do we do it? Right, Japanese, uh, if you want to actually put those over there, just we got some oh, right here. Oh, yeah, sure. Um, and then here is on this one. Side note, oh, yeah, similar the idea, ones. these ones were the Japanese ones of, here's a bunch of, of packs. Uh, those are not based off of types, they're, uh, yeah, I was they're trying to make them based off of types, but... Based off of country of origin. <laughs> basically, they're just cool. They're just really cool. They're and some, some of the cards ones. themselves are worth a little, little bit more. So these are $3 a piece for these guys, so I'm just going to crack. I'll just redo this when I'm done, I guess. Or we'll battle at some other point. These are in team bags that I've sealed with tape and a sticker. What's going on in chat? Nine time. I can't, I, I can't uh, see. With the technicality of, um, I'm pretty sure with the box that big, the combinations are finite. Guys. Paul, please. What's technicality? Yeah, you're not doing Yu-Gi-Oh right now. Yeah. Nick is. You, you, you made Nick do it. Made. Yeah, that's fair. I just bought a bunch of random Yu-Gi-Oh cards today. I'm just like, really, dude? Really? You did this to yourself. It really does. Yep. Also, yeah, Mongo, those cards now do go back to you, I guess, so. <laughs> it's like, it's like win Ben Stein's money. Win Mongo's, uh, Pokemon code cards. <laughs> win Ben Stein's money. Yeah. Remember Ben Stein, Mm-hmm. He's back. Oh, no. And with money. Oh, no. Here. You are the Winkus Link. Goodbye. Oh, man. All right. Um. Which Pokemon is the the rodent of unusual size? The rodent of unusual size. Oh, and you, an R O U S. I'm not even gonna see what I've got. You're not? You're just gonna mix it together? Just mix them together, right? It's the right, heart of the cards. Let's do I, it. I believe. Heart of the cards, guys. Heart of the cards. We're just gonna mash these together and see. Foils in here, fellas. Oh yeah. Let's make sure these are all just like facing the right way though. Uh but what is the rodent of unusual size? Uh Yeter <laughs> says he's he's stealing Mongo's code cards to give to you, Royce. That's great. I don't play the online game. There you go. That's what you guys are gonna get them. Uh eradicate oh no. Nice, nice. Rodus? Says no Rodus? No. Radicate? Nope. Oh, like so many rodents, right? Uh, the answer. May is, surprise you. I mean, it's Typhlosion. It's a five foot tall badger that's on fire. I guess he's a, I guess <laughs> he's he's a rodent. rodent. Yeah. He's a rodent. Well, how tall is Gene Simmons? <laughs> Gene Simmons Pokemon. It's, he's gotta be at least what, six feet? I mean, he's got those, he's got those platform boots, right? Uh, uh, right, what's Zamazenta, right. or whatever that dang... That's not Zamazenta. What is... Who is he? <laughs> Obstagoon. Valerian Obstagoon. <laughs> Win Gene oh, Simmons' money. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, um... 
What's my god, that's random. Isn't that Gene Simmons Family Jewels? That was the uh Can we not? <laughs> uh Yeah, Eater, if you give them to Rice, she's gonna throw them away on camera. Tear them up. Why was the German name of Pokken Tournament changed to Pokemon Tekken? I feel, like, I feel like I know it's because you should, you Pocken should. means something in, in It does. It, it does not mean anything good in German. Alright, shall we? Kind of. <laughs> Hell yeah, Eater, because Tekken is a fighting game. That's actually not the reason. Alright, we're good. I'm happy. Follow-up question. Street Fighter, Tekken, or Marvel vs. Capcom? Oh, lordy. There, there is a right answer. Alright, the it reason... It may surprise you. The reason the German uh, name of Pokken tournament was changed to Pokemon Tekken was because Pokken is the word for smallpox. <laughs> so it's oh, yeah. not bad things. I mean, you know, you know, Streets of Rage is a good game, but it's not like a fighting game. Yeah, yeah, Sinister Trials says because smallpox tournament isn't a good look. I mean... Alright, I've asked this before, but what was the first Pokemon game to use dubbed voices? Okay, we did this. Yeah, we did this one. You were Yep. What was the first Pokemon game to use dubbed voices? Hell yeah, Mongo says Marvel vs. Capcom is the most meme-y, but it's also the best. You, you get the best selection of characters, it, it's, it controls well. Uh, that one guy from Smash says Eater. What? Terry? Oh, what? Terry? Terry's in Smash now? I don't believe you. He's got that sweet hat. <laughs> sweet hat. Uh, Mongo says XY. Nope. If I recall, it wasn't like a mainline uh, mm -hmm. game, correct? Nope. Did did, did me saying you were close? Was yep, that, that, yep, that was actually okay. from it. Mongo. Oh snap. Yep, it is Pokemon Snap. That was the game. Unless the unless he was saying voices. oh snap in terms of a uh, Terry being in Smash. So I still love that um, uh, Pokemon Snap was was not originally a Pokemon game. Or a photography game at all. It was supposed to be based on the story of Jack and the Beanstalk, and then somebody added photography to her what? to it, right? And then as development pro progressed, it became a photography game, and eventually morphed into a Pokemon photography game. I'm assuming because a lot of the developers moved back and forth between studios. Uh, and it was originally slated for the ill-fated Nintendo 64 DD, which was apparently really popular in Japan. It's for dual disc. Don't start with me. Hey man. Uh, that was. That so that system was nuts and was supposed to be amazing and no one cared. Um, Not amazing enough. So who designed Pikachu originally? <clears throat> who does who does who did the first design for Pikachu? Shall we? Yeah, me. Cool. A man from Game Freak. No. Uh, this is why I don't do trivia that often. Thanks, Eater. Thanks, Ye guys. Eater wanted, are... Eater wanted it back, but also just uh, to ruin it for everybody. Yep. <laughs> or woman, he says. That's. <laughs> Thank you, Eater. Oh boy. All right. So we. Oh, oh, it's the full six. That's right. It's a full it's, sixty. Uh, yep. A full sixty yep. card deck. Mm -hmm. All right. So the the person who designed Pikachu originally was Atsuko Nishida. Contrary to popular belief, Ken Sugimori only did the final design, and then she also did roughly 30 of the original 151 Pokemon. Um, I'm not sure if that includes the ones that have been deleted, or the ones that have been removed. But Asuko Nishida, thank you. That was awesome. Akira um, Toriyama, but it was intended for Dragon Ball. Uh, I think she also designed Pikachu as a bean. The Pika Bean. Yes, we've, we've, yeah, yeah, we, we, we love we've Pika seen Pika Bean. Pika Bean. Hashtag um, Pika Bean is, is one of our like uh, uh, hashtags in our... In our um, Descriptions of the show. Yep. Um, Sinister Trust says Ar Arceus was the first one to uh, make Pokemon. What? Um, and then what? Arceus? What the, about Arceus? The guy Pokemon? What made, about? made Pokemon? Yes, okay, alright. If you want to get technical, then, go watch the, the terminal montage uh, mashups of Pokemon, Legendary Pokemon, and Baby Pokemon. Those are the best. Mm -hmm. um, and then uh, Neuenheim with a, a guy visiting Mexico who saw an electrocuted mouse on the side of the road. Yep. So apparently, rapper Logic dropped two hundred and twenty-six thousand uh, dollars 
on a first edition Charizard Charizard card that was graded 10. Um, uh, what is it? PSA. PSA 10. 10 near gem mint. I'm sorry, it was $220,574 um, that he actually paid $183,812. However, with the buyer's premium, it became over two hundred twenty thousand um, dollars. Keep, but it's the highest known sale of that particular card, graded ten mint, uh, first edition from base set. Oh, it's a base set shadowless. Excuse yeah, yeah. me, that is a base set shadowless. Exactly. That that changes things. That's why it's two hundred. Oh my god. Uh, he also pull, opened a uh, twenty three thousand dollar Pokemon base set box because he could. He's got that. Um, right. Apparently, he. Um, when he grew up, he did not have enough money for Pokemon. Loved the game, but didn't have enough money for it. Now he's just spending money on it, which is like, okay, dude, cool. You just spent a quarter of a million dollars on a card. Cool, great, yeah, awesome. No. Good for you. Sure. I, I like that, that's cool and all, but like, what? Um, I don't know how I feel about that. Yeah, YOLO. Thanks, dude. Um. He said that on his on his tweet. Yeah, gross. Uh, no, it's funny because because Nick had a uh, Nick was looking through a, a catalog of like here's the price guide for Magic from mm -hmm. like 20 years ago, mm -hmm. and at the time, um, <clears throat> a second sorry it was um, Beta Underground C was going for like 105 dollars, mm -hmm. <laughs> and nice. then he, he he changed the tab and he looks up he's like yeah it's going for like five grand. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, that's about right. That's, that's, that's a thing. Alrighty, um, so I have drawn my seven. I have an active and a bench Pokemon. <laughs> You're not wrong, Mongo. Um, hell yeah. Yeeter, I can now see your highlighted message. Um, we good? Yes, yes. John so, Ken yeah, so we Are we flipping a... Oh yeah, that's right. Where is the... Oh, we need dice. Do we have dice? Uh, 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 they might be in the check behind you. The what behind me? Yeah. On the thing? Yeah, I think that's where everything is. Nice. Hey. Mike, you derailed the train. What are you doing on the train? What are you doing on the train? <laughs> oh, boy. All right, we've got our damage tokens, and we're good. All right, shall we? Yes. Oh, wait, we, we just put, we just put yeah, we, yeah, yeah, I was like, what about? <laughs> Heads or tails? Do you want heads is the X, yeah? Sure. All right. Tails. Nice bounce. And yeah, the tails. There it is. I, I call a redo. No, I don't care. What do you want to do? Let me grab Pokemon card right before cool. we start here. Right now. Pokemon. Righto. Okay. All right, another trivia question. Where was Mewtwo's first video game appearance? Where was Mewtwo's first video game appearance? <coughs> I have allergies, guys. So Yeeter says, birds squeak with happy. Hell yeah. This one's for the birds. For the birds. Uh, Yeeter says, in Pokemon. You on the play or the? Play, yeah. OK. On Game Boy. I mean. All right, so I draw a card, correct? Yellow? Yep. Is nope. Nope. I'm going to throw a dude down. I'm going to throw that All right, there. Where was Mewtwo's first video game appearance? And end turn. Okay. Drop the turn. <laughs> Behind the truck. That's Mew. Yeah. And that's also incorrect. End turn, go. Uh, Mewtwo's first video game appearance uh, wasn't in a Pokemon game in America. Uh, he appeared uh, almost four months prior to the re release of Red and Blue in one of the video game, sorry, in the, one of the Game Boy cameras where there were unlockable images. But apparently he shut up. Unlockable JPEGs. Basically. Um, Alright, I'm going to... Oops, that's not the, <laughs> that's what not the right card, sorry. Uh, fun fact, the models and animations in Pokemon Go were actually taken directly from the X and Y games. Done to save time and make sure the art was consistent. Which I think is interesting. Oh, Christ. Um, so I'm got? going to gentle slap you for 30. For pow. Gently. Just gently. Just gently. Just gently. Um, end turn. Okay. I'm going to knuckle punch yeah. you for 10. Okay. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. 
All right, and originally the first three evolutions in Pokemon Go were completely random. However, there was a way to get exactly the evolution you were looking for. How would you go about doing so? Uh, how could you get a Vaporeon, a Jolteon, and a Flareon? All right, that was your turn. Mm -hmm. Um, the name or stone. Uh, all right. Also, I'm gonna put that there. So I got three. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna slip this boy here. Okay. Um, and I get to lightning strike you for seventy. Oh shoot! You did. Zap. All right. And then I get a prize card. You move one up. Bad thing, dude. Oh, that lightning's about Hi, to get lit up. Yeah, I have a bad feeling about this. All right. Jump for turn. Paul, tell him when he comes back. All right, I'm gonna. <laughs> also, Mongo says knuckle punch is. You are now confused and poisoned. He's got, a, he's got a good point. Whoa. Yep. Uh, I'm gonna play a timer ball. I'm just gonna put this here to know that I'm poisoned. Uh, I've got my poison marker right there. Right. It's covering that up. I'm gonna flip two coins for each head. Switch my deck for an evolution Pokemon. Reveal it and put it in direct, direct, into my hand. Then shuffle my deck. Darn it. Oh yeah. Yay. Okay. Right, so you get one evolution. Yep. Then shuffle my deck. Rainer, Pyro, Sparky, Umbreon is Tamau. That is correct. Where did all my stupid. Well, I'm going to get another code card. Have a. Uh. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> uh -oh. Uh -oh. Are, the prizes, are the prizes awkward? Oh no. Yeah. I'm going to pick a lantern. There, lantern. Shuffle my deck. Uh. <laughs> Yeah, this is a nod to the anime, where in episode 40 there were three brothers with those names. Um, yeah. Davis, Paul says, uh, be quiet. Paul. <laughs> Two L's, Paul. Oh, wait, not 12 Labors, Paul? <laughs> no. <laughs> Different Paul. Different Overwatch, Paul. Uh, okay, I really can't yeah, do much. So if I do that, he's, he's asleep. Uh, I'm sorry, what was the... So yeah, so he's poisoned. I can't do anything. Yours is poisoned. So he takes 10 on the start of my turn, right? Yes. Right. And then confusion I've got to flip a coin for. Heads yep. I break it, tails I don't. Yep. Uh, what Pokemon does Professor Oak... Nice. What mm -hmm. Pokemon does Professor Oak have in the original games? Do I get to shake this anyway, or what do I do here? I think you're just done. I don't think you can do anything. I... All right, guys, how does... Poison work in the game. Oh, yeah. How does confusion work? Confusion oh, and poison. Okay. Steve, help, please. Yeah. All right. So what I'm Pokemon give does? You this since we know that I'm still yeah. poisoned, but um, what Pokemon does Professor Oak have in the original uh, games? Rattata or Kakuna says you. Nope. That's incorrect. Um. Um. I guess I can't do anything, right? Or I could confusion. I have to. Uh, I can attack. I just. See if it hits me or not. I think that's what it is. I think you have to flip another coin. All right. I think. So, lightning strike. Hang on. Yeah, I'm gonna say lightning strike. I'm gonna flip a coin here, Royce, and we'll determine what happens after that. Okay, here. Uh, one there's counter each turn until switch or remove effects. It stays on. Oh, jeez. Asleep. Turn counterclockwise. Not attack. Mm. I'm flipping a coin and saying, lightning strike. Yeah. Pokemon who are confused are turned upside down. For every attack a coin is flipped. If heads, the attack proceeds normally. If tails, the attack fails and three damage counters are placed on the attacking Pokemon. It remains confused until it retreats to the bench. Is cured via trainer card or obtains a sleep or paralyzes a special condition. Right. So I hit I hit heads. No, but you hit tails the first time. Oh, that's right, yeah, yeah. Yep. Okay, sure. So poison Pokemon Jesus. have a poison marker placed on them. After every turn, one damage counter is placed on the Pokemon retreats or is cured via trainer card. So I take... Seven? I'm at seven total. Because uh, I had four. Uh, yeah, three damage counters. Which not that That's I can do anything, good. but yeah. Okay. All right. Um, Oddish and Pidgey have been said. Nope. Incorrect. All right. Turn. turn. It's not what I need, guys. That is not what I need. Shoot. I don't know what any of that means either, but I'm okay. terrified. Um. Go. This was a bad decision. All right. So I take another ten damage, right? Mm-hmm. All right, so the Pokemon Professor Oak has in the original games are Tauros, Executor, Arcanine, and Gyarados, as well as whichever Pokemon you and your opponent didn't choose except fully evolved. 
Because at least one of them is level 70s, it seemed that you were originally intended to fight Professor Oak near the end of the game. Uh, there is code to indicate an actual battle with him, and the battle can be triggered via cheating or game shark codes. Remember those. Uh, but this doesn't happen in the finalized version of the game. Uh, just a random thing. How many Pokemon were originally supposed to be included in red, green, and blue? Alright, in the meantime, Rice, uh, I guess I'm going to attack because there's nothing else I could do. Yeah. And poison just stays? Yep. Gross. Did you just kill my Pokemon? No, I'm going oh, to flip. Oh, you did, well, yeah, okay. I'm going to flip here. Uh, lightning. Uh, doesn't count. Doesn't, doesn't, okay, okay, doesn't, okay, 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 okay. I wigged out. Um, sure. Yes! Yes! Okay, we're good. All right, I'm, I'm happy. Deeply garbage. So I just killed myself. Ha <laughs> ha! Okay. KYS lantern. Um, put that there. I, you're gonna kill my dude, Royce. <laughs> I have no way I could survive. I, here's just a free phantom to to chew on while I to decide. To chew on. I'm just where imagining the going hang. Did you take a prize card? It's not. Like, that's not what I want. Uh, 101. Anime has 200 of them. Uh, Mongo says 250 mons. Nope. Nope, nope, and nope. 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 All right. Uh, okay. My turn. Go for turn. That's not what I need, you guys. I swear to God. Your show fall. This is into your stream. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Uh, all right. So I'm gonna do big bite. Uh, I see 130. I see 169. I see 420. <laughs> You guys are terrible. There were 190, 190 originally supposed to be in red, green, and blue. Okay. Uh, 39 were cut and later used in gold and silver. And it turns out that because of the way the Pokemon were added into the game, Victory Bell is very last on the list, implying that all 190 were designed before the games were completed. Rhydon was added first, of course, because that was the first Pokemon. Okay. Um. Also, real quick here, uh... This one's for Paul, but also uh, for Yeeter and any bird fans here. Uh, Davis brought this by. Uh, everybody's favorite uh, Yu-Gi-Oh Mons. We've got Parrot Dragon. <laughs> it's a bird! It is a bird, It's yeah. a bird! Mark it off. Woohoo, it's a bird! Find it. Too shiny for that boy. <laughs> yeah. was, pe people are loving the parrot. Oh man, bird for life, man. Exactly, what does it say? Uh, a dragon from the cartoons that's more dangerous than it appears to be. Should we show the... Overwatch meme or showing this funny t-shirt one? <laughs> if you want to, yeah. You just slide the slide your phone right in I don't in know there. if the phone will work very well. It should, yeah. yeah it's it's right. picked it up before. <laughs> my new thing is to try to take unflattering pictures of my bird. <laughs> unflattering? Yeah. Yes, look your at it, right? so We haven't seen though. this one, though. Let me see. You guys enjoy it. Oh, he's adorable. Come on. <laughs> just, just the one he's of adorable. It. <laughs> <laughs> right, And then yeah. we play Overwatch, and this is how we are, too. Exactly, yeah, that. Oh, what does the left one say? Uh, actually playing Overwatch. That's yeah. how we look when we play. Mm -hmm. Hot. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna keep, uh, Parrot Dragon here. As, as my last to Shepherd Royce, if you kill my Pokemon, which, uh, it turns out, you might. I um, might just do. It, if, wouldn't you know, uh, grass is weak to fire. Um, I don't want my grass dudes here. Uh, so what happened here? I flubbed it. I killed myself. It's your turn, right? Did you draw? Uh, uh did I? You drew, you drew a, I drew a, prize, a card. prize card. I don't know if you drew uh, Yeah, no, I didn't draw yeah. for turn yet. Okay. All right, we're good. That's not... Okay, we got sidetracked too, but yeah. All right, I'm going to do Beak Bite, which sure. You're gonna does, kill yeah, kill, kill, knock out. I'm sorry, knock out. Pokemon don't die. They get knocked out, so yes. I grab the he's prize card. He's weak to it. He's, he's dead. You this set, you set right. a piece of grass on fire, Royce. I don't think he's coming back from that. I mean, he's a phantump. He's a silly, a phantump. All right, Yeeter says, I gotta go. Good luck, my man. Bye, Yeeter. Uh, we'll see you in the Discord, too. Thank you for the memes. The memes are fire. Pastimes.net slash uh, social. Join us in Discord. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll post there who wins. Probably gonna be Royce. But yeah, thank you for the bird stuff. <laughs> um, and I'm sure Mongo thanks you for uh, all the uh, the trivia Ws. Yeah, <laughs> Mongo says, you win. The chat wins, Royce. No matter the who wins here, the win. chat will always win. The chat will always win. All right, so Phantom. So he's out. Knocked out. Knocked out. Um, one Phantom out. This phantom. That's not phantom. That's a, a, a little yeah. rotata. So what? What is this? I just use it. What's up? Talk to the boss. Search your deck for a little eradicate. Attack, right? Yeah. Like, instead of as an ability. Yeah. Okay. So all right. So when my turn. So my turn starts. Mm -hmm. Draw a card. All right. Hell yeah. All right. So 
Uh, call for the boss, search your deck for an Alolan Raticate or Alolan Raticate GX, reveal it, put it into your hand, shuffle your deck. There are no GXs in these decks, just FYI. Um, there should be a Raticate, though. Should Let's be. See. Let's find out together, Rice. I mean, there should be. Yay, you got one. I'm just curious if there's a. Like I said, there should be not, not at GX, least but. two Alolan Rattatas and one Raticate. Hopefully. That's correct. Rice smells my deck. Judge. I built the deck! <laughs> Judge. This is um, for funsies! Eater says the bird wins. Bird always wins. House wins, birds win. Right. Mm -hmm. Let's get 120 life. Uh, heck. Yeah, but I've got 100 and zero mana on him, and by the time I do, he's going to be dead anyway, so. Alright, what, uh, what was Pokemon's original name? Not Pocket Monsters. What was Pokemon's original name? Because that goes there. Uh, I'm just going to straight evolve this dude. May as do well. It. No reason right. not to. Um, and then I'm going to How. Draw three cards. Nice. Boop. Boop. <laughs> and Boop. let's see what those boys do. Those boys. What was Pokemon's original name? It was not Pocket Monsters. Yamper! I love Yamper. Yamper and Bolton. I, I don't think I'd ever evolve my Yamper. He's just he's just so cute. Or his cards in hand. What? One, two, three, four, five, six. I got seven. Heck. All right. Um, I'm going to Tormenting Spray you. Oh, no! Um, choose a random card from your opponent's hand. That opponent reveals that card. If it's a supported card, discard it. So just like Phantom Out, yeah. Um, that's where you would keep your support, this guy. So I'm going to... Womp, womp, yes. womp, I mean, womp. It supports your dude, so you it's can probably count. discard that, right? It goes back in my hand. Lol. Lol. Wait, what was the, what was the question? Because I have an answer here of Pukemon, and then sorry I can't type that as I don't have a Japanese keyboard. <laughs> Alright, the original name for Pokemon is Capsule Monsters. Okay. Oh, that's correct. Because uh, it was based on Gachapon machines. Gotcha. Um, because of trademarks, they ended up having to be called Pocket Monsters, which, yes, that's... whatever. Uh, fun fact in the anime, um, the Pokeballs are actually tiny and they fit on your belt. Actually, in the game, too. And they, like, expand when you want to throw them, mm -hmm. which makes no sense. Exactly, yeah. I remember, I remember like, those. Why don't we just have, like, they, the mini ones and toss yeah. those and you get the... And also, they're digital. I don't know. No one's ever explained that. All right. My turn? Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. I'm going to play an Earring new Bell. Which, uh, if this Pokemon this card is attached to is your active Pokemon and is damaged by an opponent's attack, even if it's knocked out, the attacking Pokemon is not confused! Also, uh, okay. Yeter says, Headache Royce. Um, I feel like that should be one of the new, uh, uh, emotes, is just Royce just face palming at the chat and me combined. Yeah, exactly. Hang on, hang on, hang on, here. There we go. So we'll, we'll take a we'll, photo we'll of that. We'll screen cap yeah, that. We'll screen cap yeah, that. Yeah, that. Be, right. uh... Play with my glasses. Anyway, they've got dragons <laughs> on them. Oh, they've got dragons on them. Alright, I'm gonna do Beak Bite. And... Uh, 60, uh, and you cannot retreat during your next turn. Jesus. <laughs> Jesus, why did I put energy on when I knew he was going to die? Um, also, Mongo says, yeah, Balma has Capsule trademarked yep. for the Capsule Core. Uh, um, what was the character Red's name in the video games, originally? Not in the not in the English ones, but the Japanese ones. Uh, please note that Ash and Red are not the same character. The character wouldn't be officially named Red anyway until Gold and Silver in 1999. Um, also, his name is not Satoshi. Right, I'm going to draw my card race for my mm -hmm. turn. Oh, wait, I have not to draw yet. Oh, you didn't draw? Uh, no, we're good. I did. Okay. I'm crazy. Um, I'm going to play Great Ball, uh, top seven cards in my deck. Nice. Reveal a Pokemon. Keep it. What was the character Red's name in the video games originally? Um, not Satoshi, Ash, or Red. Um, and Ash and Red are not the same character. Just what, what was, uh, what was his name? Uh, um. Bet. Uh, so what was it? I just put it into my hand. Um, I'm just going to reveal it and pop it down there. I got nice. a, a, a Bolton. A hollow Bolton at that. And then shuffle my deck. Pretty hollow. Okay, I lied. I'd have like a Yamper and a Bolton. They'd be friends. Hey, better be. I it's like Yamper. The thing, Yamper. Yamper and Shinx are like oh, two of my favorites. Up. What's up? What's up, uh, Charlie? Charlie Chat. Hi, Charlie uh, Chat. I don't know what happened, but I have two answers here. Of his name was Richie Cunningham, and his name was Tyrone. I don't know what any of these are in reference to. What I was, are you I talking about, for, Charlie in the chat? Pokemon, yeah. No, that's not right. That's the best. Is <coughs> missing the question and then turning back to see like three random answers that make no none sense. of those are correct. So we're gonna we're gonna be using it's a the Japanese head, name, guys. We're gonna be using the uh, the headache race emote uh, quite a bit here. <laughs> Sad race. Um, 
And the character's name was Yuichi. Yuichi. Alright, gonna throw that down, Royce. Alright. Also, I'm gonna I'm gonna spritz my boy, heal uh, 30 damage right, off cool. this dude, so. Goes down good. three, so I'll survive your attack. Um, wait, actually, I could um, search your deck for a number of cards up to the number of your bench Pokemon and put them into your hand and shuffle your deck. So two cards? So I can just get two any cards? Apparently. So uh, open up. That's the end of your turn. A whole new thing. Oh, yeah, definitely. All but right. I mean, finding two cards, sorry, give me one second. All right. All right, so here's a, here's a, uh, here's three questions. They're all the same. Uh, the answers are all the same. What were the first Pokemon games to feature online trading? What were the first Pokemon games to have 3D visuals? And what were the first Pokemon games to use touchscreen inputs? They're all the same answer. What were the first Pokemon games to feature online trading? What were the first Pokemon games to have 3D visuals? And what were the first Pokemon games to use touchscreen inputs? Thanks, Davis! <laughs> Jerk. Trade that one. Alright. Another card card? Uh, yeah, one moment. You're good. Wait, I thought you just I, I, two I, from the top of your deck. Is it? Do you search for them? I want to search your deck. deck. Yeah, that's what I'm like. That's, what? That seems wild. Alright, so I grabbed what? two. That's busted! That's awesome! Yeah. That's so cool. Uh, online, XY, Ruby Sapphire, Sasuke was another thing said. All right, Davis, give it away. What happened? They didn't hear me. Well, you might as well just say it because you shouted it. What was it? I said my name is Earl. Good show. That. It's like if you were just saying X Y. That's before we remake. Nope. Um. All right, so that's that. That's busted. That's that. I do and you don't even get to show me. No, it sucks, dude. Two cards, right? All right. Deal cool. with them. All right. That was my bad. No question. No, it's good. okay. Nobody heard it anyway. No, yeah, you're fine. So, yeah. You're too far away. It's fine. All right. Where's right. your turn, Royce? What's going on? Wait, what's this? Ear ringing bell. Pokemon attached to the card. Is damaged by an opponent's attack. The attacking Pokemon is not confused. So spicy. <laughs> so spicy. I'm That's confused. not I'm what angry. I need, Royce. Deck. You suck. All right. Big bite. For 60. Davis. Charlie in the chat says, what's up? <laughs> uh, the answer to the question. Uh, <laughs> Did you say tell him hello? Yeah. Hello. No. That's it. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Say the line, Bart. <laughs> oh my God. All right. The answer to those questions was diamond and pearl. Diamond and diamond pearl. and pearl. All right. Next question. What year did the Pokemon Company start having online tournaments? Are you big? You big biting me again? Watch your nose. Yeah, big bite. Yep. All right. Draw a card. Drop a turn. Drop a turn. Things are going to happen here real quick, right. so there's one, three is now on you there, do right? 60 plus to me. Uh, two, Citrus Berry is attached to him. At the end of the turn, uh. the card has three or more attack damage counters, heal 30, and discard this card. I didn't realize it was just once. Oops, mm -hmm. here we are. Mm -hmm. um, and then two, uh, Devourer's Field. Attacks of Dark Pokemon and Dragon, Dragon Pokemon, Pokemon. Uh, both using your opponents, do 10 damage to opponents, active opponent Pokemon. So just an extra 10 damage, you kill my dude. Yep. Uh, but yours is now confused. Yep, that's fine. But I mean, I'm okay. gonna I'm gonna kill your dude with Endeavor. I'm so not even gonna flip the coins because I don't need to. No, you um, did. I'm gonna discard this. All right. So technically, I'm not Sorry. out yet. Also, I've, dates have been said. Um, 1982 and EC 2005. So the, the wildest gap between the two of them. None so of the above, y'all. All right. This is. Uh, what year did the Pokemon Company start having online tournaments? Y'all are terrible people. Right, I'm not out yet, guys. I know I've got nothing on my board, but give me a second. I If I pull nothing in my next... Right, so I heal 30, and this gets discarded, right? Yep. So take that three off. That's that. I All get a prize card. Go for turn. And I have no basics, so Mike wins. Default. You win by default. I have no basics. Hell yeah. Good also, game. wait. Knowing how, yeah, Paul, you weren't here. I showed off... Uh, yeah, it's, it's Birdie. Uh, the Birdie Yu-Gi-Oh card. Okay, let's see what my prize cards were. It's called Parrot Dragon, and then the name, the the, the lore, the flavor text says. Where are all of my stupid basics? A oh, dragon oh from the God. cartoons that's more dangerous than it appears to be. All right, so this wasn't quite. This, these are play tested. These aren't Mondo. amazing, but Mike's got Mike's got the whole thing. Two thousand two. Yep. Mike's basically got that done. So that's 
So I won that you fight. Won, right? You won that are we, fight. Are we doing another one? We got uh, 30 sure. minutes left. What the yeah. heck? So shuffle up again. Yep. Get back in there. Sure. GG's. Best two of three. Mm -hmm. All right. So. Yeah, the, the last, I haven't updated like this particular Poké Trivia, but at the time the most expensive Pokémon card was $90,000. Uh, that was exceeded by the I was say this was Charizard. pre, pre uh, what's his name again? Logic. The, the Weekend. Logic. Yeah, The Weekend, yeah, right. Chance the Rapper bought the highest, uh, Tyler the Creator bought Pokémon cards. Pokémon cards and sold them for something. Um, Other uh, Machine Gun Kelly bought a <laughs> Radicate. <laughs> Specific Radicate. Um, but that was that was the last one. It was a secret, super secret battle number one trainer card, of uh, which there were only seven printed. And in English, it says the Pokemon card game official tournaments champion is recognized here, and this honor is praised by presenting this card. You may gain preferential entry into the super secret battle. Wait, um, but that's not even like a Pokemon card. Yeah, like you don't like shuffle that into your deck, right? Right. The, okay. the Pikachu Illustrated card. Okay, that one went for one hundred ninety-five thousand dollars at auction and in. in uh, October 09. Excuse me, October 2019. Uh, the Pikachu Illustrator card is an actual, an actual card. Right. Um, also, real quick, into your previous question, uh, Mongo with the, well, it's got to be after Diamond and Pearl, because I have a little brain, so 2012. Nope. And then uh, Sinister Trousers with 2020. I could see them going online for the official tournaments this year. <laughs> Thanks, Steve. Play at home. Um, Zoom meeting. Fight me on Zoom, kid. Oh, my God. The most expensive video game ever sold. This is not a Pokemon game, but what is the most expensive video game ever sold? That track and field game. No. Uh, Baby O's is 2000. No. It's also incorrect. I was going to say, probably closer. It's, it is closer, but it's not, that's not the right answer. What is the most expensive video game ever sold? E.T. for Atari, says... Uh, oh, God, no! <laughs> most expensive landfill. Yeah, that's, that's, I mean... Remember when they dug those up? Yeah, right? That, that sure was something. <laughs> that was something. Alright, um, All right, I have uh, shuffled. Hang on. I'm drawing one, shuffle. two, three, four, five, six, seven. Alright, so what was the most expensive video game ever sold? Three, Boy, four, this is five, looking five, real six, familiar. Uh, I will keep. Well, you have to. If that's, if that's exactly, six. yeah. Oh, this is okay. Alright, and then I draw six. Two, three, four, five, six for my prize. Yep. One, two, three. <laughs> Clash, four, for, Clash of Clans for the iOS. <laughs> Camara says I dig them up for the ETs, and then also uh, Sister Traja says I miss my copy of ET for the Atari. I know you're doing. I'm can sorry, I, dear. Can I get an F in the chat? For F in the chat. F in the chat for Sinister Trousers. Yeah, for the Trousers. Uh, the most expensive video game ever sold is a super rare, unopened, still sealed copy of Super Mario Brothers for the NES. Greeted at 9.4, this copy sold for $114,000. That's the most expensive video game ever. The reason it was so high was because of the box itself. It had the hang tab inside the sealed plastic. This is an unusual thing. Uh, realized they should probably have sealed the boxes with plastic wrap, except they'd already printed and made the boxes with the hang tabs. They just repurposed the box and like sealed it with okay. the hang tab in there. Um, Babi yeah, uh, Babi Yoda did say Super Mario right before that. So All right, that, that, Babi Yoda uh, gets it then. Done. Charlie says, that's dumb. <laughs> It's the Nintendo, guys. Yeah, exactly. yeah, the hang tab. Yeah, it's a dumb thing. Um, oh, here's a fun... What's Fennekin's Japanese name? Fennekin? What? Fennekin. The Irish Pokemon? Yes. What is, uh, what is Fennekin's Japanese name? All right. We good? Um, I won, so I'll choose to be on the play. Okay. Flip them. Flip you boys. Looking oh, familiar. Oh, yamper. All right. All right. So I'll draw a card for turn. Mm -hmm. uh, I will... Throw that down there, okay. and then I will also uh, What is Fennekin's Japanese name, y'all? Oh, jerk. Um, end turn. Okay. Charlie says Fennekin-san, and then also Babiota with Ella, Ella Mayo. Camaro's not wrong. <laughs> All right, uh, go. Yeah, Mongo, when the hang tab is more valuable than the game. That's. I mean, yeah. it's still sealed. Uh, all right, so Fennekin's Japanese name is Foko. 
uh, Royce, please. That's, is, that's actually his chat. It's fuck uh, This is a family stream. Yeah, I know. I know. I'm that's actually his chat. That's why I thought that up. I thought that was funny. Uh-huh. Uh, where is... You, are you, yeah. You've turned into to Johnny now with yep. dropping F-bombs on streams. Yeah, that's... Yep. That's his... That's his uh, Decidueye's Japanese name is Junaipa, which is Juniper and Juniper, Sniper. Yeah, yeah. And Sniper. Mm -hmm. uh, and I brought this up. I've brought this up before. Uh, Vaporeon, Jolteon, and Flareon's Japanese names are Showers, Thunders, and Booster. Which is funny because Articuno, Zapdos, and Moltres' Japanese names are Freezer, Thunder, and Fire. Hell yeah. Moltres' name. Japanese name is Fire. No? And the fact that Flareon's name is Booster. Is yeah, just... what it says on the tin. Uh, Porygon could have been Polygon because mm -hmm. Porygon in, in Japanese. Um... Centret and Furret's Japanese names are Otachi and Otachi. <laughs> big Otachi. That, no, that's literally that's literally what it's big Tachi. Big Otachi. Big. Big Otachi. like no, I'm not kidding. You just add an O in the front because big. Um Cliff Abel's Japanese name is Pixie. Pixi. Which is cute. Uh yeah, Espeon and Umbreon are Effie and Blackie, respectively. Uh Murkrow. His Japanese name is, is uh, Yami Kados, which is Dark Raven. Charlie, that guy was an a-hole in Super Mario RPG. Uh, Mag Cargo is a spin on Escargo. All right, my turn. Go ahead. Uh, Hitmontop's Japanese name is Capoeira. Capoeira? Yep. Dance fighting? Yep. Uh, that's... Wait, yeah, wait, that does make sense. Yep, Hitmontop, that's, that's yeah. yep. Um, uh, first, I'm going to big bite you for, mm, for, for 50. 50. Oh, uh, and you also, you can't retreat, so it doesn't matter. Yeah. Uh, Leafeon and Glaceon's Japanese names are Leafia and Glacia, respectively. Yeah, he also wanted to, like, eat his wife's tears, Charlie. Sorry, we're talking about uh, Booster from Super Mario RPG Legend of the Seven uh -huh. Stars. Do you remember that yep. game? Uh -huh. One, best Japanese RPG. Prove me wrong. Um, Two, he liked eating P uh, Princess Peach's tears. They were salty. Hang on. He also liked cake. Timer ball for okay. two coins. Okay, one. One. So you get one Pokemon. Darn it, one. Right, singular, so... Is it basic or any No, Pokemon? it's an evolution Pokemon. Mm -hmm. uh, and reveal and put into your hand. I'm going to pick Electrode. Woohoo. Okay, you getting ready? Shuffle my deck. Um, yeah, I think that's like all the interesting trivia I've got That's that people That's fine. We got, we got a lot. We got, um, we got I mean, Mongo's like walking with like 12 a bunch cards. Of, yeah. yeah, exactly. So. I am shuffling, people. Don't, like, uh, don't do that. Now. Um... And then I'm gonna Charlie, do... what, what were the uh, the knockoff Power Rangers names? That was, Pokemon Center later. I heal. Fun. We're good. Uh, I'm gonna do Flare for twenty. Okay. Mm -hmm. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna do that. Uh, wait, I can't do that. I did that. We're good. Sorry. Yep. Go. Axum Rangers. Hell yeah. Man, Axum they were Rangers? so good. Yeah. The in, in Super Mario RPG they had like knockoff Power Rangers that were called Axum Rangers. They were all like the colors of the Power That's Rangers. Cool. They looked like Power Rangers, and they also had sweet axes. Nice. Um. Were they, they called sweet, Sentai they had, in the they Japanese? Had sweet, like axe, like a, a ship that you'd fight on. Cool. Um, All right. I don't think so. Your turn. Right. Blink. Excuse me. Interesting. Very interesting list. Uh oh. At a time like this, um, I guess I'm just gonna just gonna big bite you. Mm, for fifty again. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, uh, he's wait, not dead up. yet. Actually, let me throw that. Just gonna like you're gonna do fighty fangs and knock me, do, knock my. Hey, yeah, I guess yeah. Either way. All right, he's out, and then put this boy up. Okay, my turn. Drop for turn. All right, so I get a prize card. Yeah, they were underutilized side characters. I don't think. Yeah, I mean, like most of those guys, like Mallow, Gino, none I'm of them ever like made appearances cards. in other like Nintendo games, other than like Smash, Nine, you know, as like uh, just references. Two, but like, man, bring back Axe Rangers, bring back Booster. I always thought that, that Booster was just like Wario because he looked like Wario, but like I figured it was just like a weird like translation thing or like this was who Wario initially was um because he had like that same like mustache he was like creepy like Wario but again yeah booster never okay. never seen again all right go Oop. you're just gonna kill me mm-hmm mm -hmm. and then you don't have any Pokemon right nope I don't yeah, think so. so unless I have a fighting fangs yep he's out rip okay so if you have none in bench, you get like one like Hail Mary pull. Is that what it yep. is? Okay. Yep. Just just to keep going, just to basically keep going. Um, because you can have stuff in your hand that will help you if you pull like yeah, the right yeah, card. Exactly. And I just didn't pull anything. So Fair clearly, enough. Mike got a good. You have to mix and match Check these, out this, these uh, boys. What's who is it? Uh, those um. Trapper Mike wins. Keepers. 
who was the girl that made those Trapper Keepers? What are my prize cards? Erica, Chincho, and a Litten. Erica. Dang. Erica. No, wait, you're worse. Wait, for real. What was that? The girl who made those, uh, those like, um... Oh, um, Lisa Trapper Frank. Keepers. Yeah, some, this, this Lisa Frank-ass Ratata in a time like this With to help hair. keep Cheery up. Right. Um, yeah. So that's, that's another W. But yeah, no, this is fun. I mean, like, that's the thing, is... You mash uh, these together and build exactly, a deck, Yeah, thank you, know? you Sam, Charles, Lisa Frank. Um, yeah, like, all it took was... We picked three colors, we shuffled it for like a minute, and then we were right, playing. And yeah, a, so. Right, and you made a deck. Like, and, like how they cool both is that? Seemed, they were fun. They yeah, I, we, I enjoyed this immensely. Like, Good job, yeah. Royce. And then, so what? Uh, it's Me and Nick. $2 uh, a pack. $3, $3 a, pack a pack for 20 cards. Uh, you mash two or more together, and they're cheaper than theme decks, yeah, and they're based so, like, on your various like, types. So for three for three. But they're packs, random, like, so you don't know what you're going to get. A little under 10 bucks, you get a deck that you can just start playing with in, in two seconds. So and not too shabby. They come with trainers. Exactly. Everyone comes with, I think it's six to seven trainers. There's spoilers. Check out this. There's a whole I bunch mean, of you know, random stuff in there, guys. Why for for three bucks, you could have your chance at a foil clay. Look at this oil tycoon. <laughs> There's reverse hollows and stuff, yeah. This oil tycoon. Howdy. Uh, all right, for the next this couple minutes, I'm just going to crack some more packs, I guess. I was say, yeah, we got, we got time here. We, we still got, got 20 minutes. Um, we can talk about Lisa Frank. We can talk about Booster. Whatever. Do you guys have any dead board games you want to play next week? Um, yes, um, so come November, we might, uh, start debuting more of the dead games, uh, the gra game graveyard. Ooh. Um, so keep an eye out for that. Mark your calendars. <laughs> November is the game graveyard month. No, November, not not October, because it's spoopy month. Yeah, October we're, we're doing, month uh, spoopy. we're doing, uh, spoopy books, uh, for right. the comics corner. Mm hmm What am I doing? Quick reminder. Uh, next week, well, this week, uh, Johnny and I will be talking about, uh, Marvel Zombies. Nice. Uh, because it's Marvel's kind of, like, only Halloween spooky story that we can kind of find that seems... I don't know how I'm going to feel about it. Um, that said... <laughs> you haven't done your homework yet? still got more co Yeah, so, you know. Nice. Right. Johnny and you I... You don't sleep, that's a cool week, though. Yeah. Um, we'll be talking about that, um... Possibly Wednesday, possibly Thursday. Johnny and I are going to talk on Tuesday about maybe pushing the book club book day to Thursday, just so there's like a little bit of break between it for us. Um, we'll, we'll see. If you join us on Tuesday, you can throw in your input. I'm just pulling green cards, yeah, guys. Um, Again, green cards mean nothing on the online game. They mean everything in the. Ooh, hello. Pow. Uh, they mean everything in the in the card game. And then yeah, on uh, in, the in November. Uh, we've got a lot of a lot of card games, a lot of board games. Uh, it might be a lot of cowboy games coming out out the gate here for you for us to to watch. Davis, because we're all gonna be suffering screen. from from cabin fever of all being stuck indoors. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And also, you know, I guess you know. God, green yeah. cards. Green cards. In reverence of, of the Native Americans, here's a bunch of cowboy games with Native Americans uh, also. Happy Columbus Day. Don't, Mike. All right, I think I'm good, you guys. Cool. Um, you happy? What else we got? Um, Do you have another? Oh like, yeah, Royce. Um, so we, 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 we were talking, talking about, um, uh, you know, set 11.5, set 5.5. Uh, everybody always forgets about set 13.5. Mm -hmm. uh, the expansion pack um, came in supplemental projects only. Uh, we got Pokemon, uh, Pokemon ETBs. Um, hopefully coming soon. Keep an eye out for that from the company that probably still exists <laughs> called Pacific. I, the the trade the trademark is just year two thousand Pacific. We should try that again, or we should try that game next. Just so to, yeah, keeping out from silly. your boys at Pacific, uh, putting out bangers. An ETB with ten packs. Bang it! What would ETB stand for? Like, yeah, trash boxes. Ugh, trash boxes. Enjoyable yeah, we'll trash that. boxes. Enjoyable trash boxes. Exactly. I, like that. I would enjoy some nice Pokemon brand like sleeves. Hell yeah, man. Uh, as would I. These. As oh, do I, mean I felt, I felt something on my finger. It's a scratch and sniff card. Oh no! All right, so bring it on. Lean here properly. All right, so well, bam. Code card there. We've got. Whatever. It's okay, guys. Right? I'm sure somebody already got bam. that. So we've got uh, Polly Retch, Polly Gag, Polly Hur Hurl. We get the full evolution. Man, talk about de-evolution, Royce. This guy goes from like a fine, upstanding Polly Retch into like. A muck, and then just like a, a puddle. Like I feel like Polly Gag should be the, the final, because at least he's got like some sentience left. Like he's like 
a dude again, but I don't know. He's like a dude. I'll, I'll, I'll take it up with Pacific next time I'm <coughs> at their offices. Right. Uh, look at this. Look at this dude. What is that dude? I don't know his name, but Cookie Toss. Ugh. Mean skill, self rising splatter. This spoiled cookie smells so bad that other Pokemon toss their cookies. So he's a cookie. It makes you toss your cookies. There we go. Look at that. No. HD. No. It's got like moss on him. Gross. Uh, okay, here we go. I'll save. I'll save this one for last. This one is the scratch and sniff. Uh, we'll come back to that. Uh, what do we got here? Oh, speaking of Squirtle, everybody's favorite. Uh, we've got the full evolution line here. Find it. Find it. Nope. Why is it being mean? I hate you. All right, but we got uh, Burple. <coughs> Squirt Hortle, uh, and Gas Passer. I don't. They they kind of like phone it in at the end there. Not even close. Uh, and then we got Fowlo, Odor Rats, and Hideous. Again, just kind of phoning it in with these guys. But we got a line of, of rat boys here. Oh, I want to bring this card up. Um, Sorry, bring it up before. Uh, I bring yeah, it up. but the, so um, I love the art on this card. This is a Morpeko. The art. Is, Yoda, wake the, up. The art is adorable. However, look at what it does. Attack the wound. If your opponent's active Pokemon already has any damage counters on it, attack just 50 more damage. <laughs> Baviota, more Pekko! Look, look at that art! Uh, look pull at down, that pull it down a little bit. There we go. Look at that kid. Look, look, look at that just art! I just, I just, that art! <laughs> He's just like, I'm gonna get ya. Yeah. I'm gonna right. get ya. Is that a wound I see there? I'm gonna attack. Wound is a uh, speaking hmm. of wounds, we got, wound uh, uh, level two, to happen to it. uh, Booger. Scratch and sniff. Uh, sneezing all the time, this Pokemon has sticky snot that and traps its victims. Uh, and kills snot glue. I don't like this. This one is a scratch and sniff, no. so let's find out. Gross, 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 gross. So gross. No. Gross. It's not that bad. It's, I don't care. It's like a scented candle. What? It's like almost cinnamony. Royce, you care to, uh. No. Care to scratch your booger? You gotta scratch it, Royce, and then you sniff. Nope. Nope, it's nope, not nope. Bad. Nope, nope. Like, okay, so as far nope. as they go. That one halitosis was just like straight bad. Yeah, that was awful. Uh, that one I had to like quarantine this is, somewhere else. This is this is proof that none of us have COVID because we can smell. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Don't 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 quote me on that. But that or the fact that it smells not that bad to me is a bad sign. Um, just gross. Just so gross. that's that. Um, oh, Royce, did you, oh, did you take my stack of cards? Yeah, I'm okay, in the process just, of just, like, just them. yeah. Are you just gonna remake them? I'm gonna remake them. Hell yeah. Yeah. Um, can I taste it? Yeah, it tastes like uh, burgers. Uh, <laughs> No, that was quick. We got time. We got time. Here, do more. Mass, mass day. I got one mass. One mass. Uno mass. Ooh, these packs are stuck together. Which one looks right? This one. Spicy. Alright. Charlie with a good question. How do you know what boogers taste like, Mike? It's got you there. It's got you there. Well, I, uh... I gotta you, go. you gotta go. <laughs> I gotta go. Yamper. Chincho, lantern. Chincho. Mongo says, well, we solved the cost of uh, COVID testing. Just smell a Pokemon scratch and sniff. Basically. That's, I mean, that's what I mean, they that's, do. Like, yeah. you know, they had to, like, stick, like, a big thing up your nose beforehand. But now all they need to do is just, like, say, hey, I got a, a booger card right here. Tell me what it smells like. Is it is it good or bad? If they say good, uh men in hazmat suits just kind of surround you and, and tackle you. Yep. Um, speaking of being tackled, uh, here is uh, Gruesome, and I can't tell what that says. Gruesome Twosome. So remember Tentacruel and, and those ones? <laughs> uh, it's just it's like boogers in, in water. Like tears in the rain. Oh um, we've got uh, Star P. It's just a gleefully urinating uh, uh, starfish flying through the sky. This Pokemon wets everything below. Okay, so it's a literal star. Oh, because of course the mean skill is Tinkle Tinkle Little Star. Oh my God! So. Gross! 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 Exactly. Yeah, Mongo says today we hacked COVID testing and the price of surgery. Best stream for financial advice. Yeah, exactly. Like <laughs> Welcome to uh, Rice and Mike's. I hope we don't get taken down, honestly, for that. Rice and Mike's Biz Corner. Oh my god. Big Biz Advice. Big Biz Advice. <laughs> Big. Big Biz that Biz. Um, we got two nice. This Pokemon is constantly complimenting the enemies into a frenzy of frustration. Oh, a mean skill. Gag me with a spoon. 
what was that? Mean Girls? What is it? What 90s Cagney with movie? The spoon, yeah, Cagney yeah. with a Spoon. I'm like, that sounds familiar. That's actually a happy looking one. I'm going to put that aside. That's in the mic pile. <laughs> um, okay, Rice, we're back on actual literal children being Pokemon, and I still don't know how to feel about this. We got a kid named Togepi. This Pokemon pees constantly on everything it sees. Mean skill, sheet stainer. But it's, it's, an actual, it's just a kid. He's just a kid. Um, I don't know how I feel about that. There, there was Huey, um, where it's like the toilet that's being puked into by a kid, and it wasn't the toilet that was the Pokemon, the Pokemon. Sorry, it was actually Huey, like the actual child. I, again, this is like some gray area of just having kids fight uh, like a big rat. All right, oh, that's kind of lame. We just got the single of gruesome. I don't know how I feel about the evolution cards. Like, it's cool that I get to see all in one card everything there, but like, if you're gonna in the same pack, just have this. Like, what, what's going on here, man? I feel I feel like I've been shorted, but at the same time, I'll take again. This this one's going in my uh, my kids' tribal deck. It's all <laughs> all kid Pokemon all the time. Uh, all right, we're at 750. Bryce, anything else that you want to add? No, I know. I, Thank you. I'm, I'm done. Thank over. you. I'll, we're done. I'll do it we're again, done. Don't you? We're done. Oh. Don't. I'll open up as many as I need to <laughs> until I get like a foil uh, Huey. Oh, that was Pokemon. Yep. Sorry, I'm he's, done. He's going in my pile. Of, uh, but yes, the BBB Better Business Bureau. Um, yeah, I think that just about does it then, Rice. Right? Mm -hmm. So that's, that's everything. Uh, I'll send out, um, yeah, Mongo. I'll message you on uh, uh, Discord, pastimes.net slash social for our Discord server, because uh, I'm going to be sending people uh, code cards. Um, I believe I've also got ones here set aside for Babby Yoda for getting two trivia rights. Um, so that'll be getting sent out too. Uh, I've got a scratch and sniff booger uh, that's going in the mic pile right over here, and uh, yeah, that just about does it. Uh, Mongo, what uh, what card do you want? Uh, I see you spent cards or points for a pick your own. We got we got a whole host of code cards here. Got them set aside alphabetically. We got some Champions Path. The blue ones are the newer ones mm -hmm. that I just made tabs for. Um, Mongo, how about this? I'll, I'll, I'll send you the picture of all your code cards if you want to give them out in the uh, Pastimes uh, Discord oh, server. Good. Feel free. It'll be win Ben Stein's money, but... Uh, all right, guys. Random tin code. Sounds good, Mongo. So I'll, I'll add that to your pile. Uh, also, what's up, uh, Hamza Killian? I'll send you a, a code card for following. Mm -hmm. What's up, my dude? Although, unfortunately, <laughs> we just are ending the stream, so thanks for coming on in. Uh, oh man, there you go. You can watch Killing previous streams. You, you can as well. Uh, you can watch our stream of playing Nyctophobia from last week uh, on Thursday. These are that was Mongo's fun. Mongo's riches that I'm gonna like. Took about an hour. Cut in half. One's going to Killian. One's going to Mongo. So uh, that's sounds easy. good. Out of random packs. Um, but yeah, you guys can watch any of our previous streams. I think they're on YouTube as well as our Nyctophobia playthrough last uh, last Thursday. Yep. Again, uh, past times on that stuff. Social. Yeah, the YouTube uh, has the the kind of archive link. So does uh, Twitch. But I know that those get culled after a certain amount of time. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, thanks as always for everybody coming on out, uh, talking, doing trivia, watching Royce and I uh, play some actual pocket monsters, mm -hmm. um, and keeping up on the latest of uh, Pokemon and Pokemon news. So. <laughs> Indeed. All right. Thanks, guys. Have a good night. See you next time. See you guys Bye. Later.